Oriel's first published work, the poem Awake Young Man of England, was printed in the Alley and South Oxfordshire and um, a standard when he was 11 years old. So Orwell had a writer mind and his skill from the very beginning of his childhood. And when he was 11 years old, he had a, a writing. He wrote a, a poem, Awake Young Man of England. And Orwell attended Eton College because literature was not an accepted subject for boys at the time. Orwell started the master, write, uh, master writer and began to develop his own writing style. And then at on, he came into contact with liberalist and socialist ideas. And it was here that his initial politi political views were formed. Uh, Eric Arthur, Arthur's uh, Orwell's father's name was Richard Wellensley Blair. Wellensley Blair and was an official in the opium department in India. And like many of the middle upper classes men of his time, Richard Blair served the British Empire in its most prized and lucrative colony. So uh, Orwell's father had been working in a British colony in India. And in 1896, he, that means Orwell's father, met Ida Amble Limogin, a British governess, 20 years his junior, and also living in India. After their marriage, the couple lived in Bengal for eight years, where they had two children, Marjorie, uh, 1898, and Eric. One year after Eric's birth, Ida moved back to England. And for the next eight years, Eric would see his father only for only three months in 1907, during one of his leaves. A third child, Arfi, uh, Avril was born in 1908. Richard did not see his youngest child until his return to England when he returned from the OPM department in 1902. So uh, uh, George Orwell was born uh, in India and after the birth of George Orwell, Orwell's mother returned England with the young uh, uh, George Orwell. And after returning in England, Eric he spent his early boyhood in Hinley, Oxfordshire. It means I stayed for an uh, area of England. And he enjoyed the walks in the Oxfordshire countryside. So at the boyhood, uh, George Orwell loved to uh, visit the countryside and see the scenery of his countryside. And he also understood he also understood that uh, uh, that the necessity of uh, money that means at the very first slide we have understood that george orwell uh, didn't came from a wealthy family an upper middle class family he came up and at that time when he had been passing when george orwell had been passing his days in england oxfordshire he got the difference between several social classes uh, of the society and also, at that time, he got acquaintance with a, a girl, and especially this girl was a plumber's daughter. And but that relation was uh, broken because Orwell's mother claimed that the uh, uh, girl is very too common, and for this reason, uh, George Orwell also understood very uh, nicely that there is a, a difference between several layers of the society. So from the very boyhood, George Orwell understood the social difference of, in the society. However, George Orwell 
mentality was shaped by the reading of uh, Jonathan Swift, Gulliver's Travels, a novel whose political satire would find its way into the books of George Orwell. Okay. So uh, after returning from England, and returning from India, when George Orwell uh, was passing his days in England, he got uh, the inspiration of writing by visiting the countryside or the village side of Oxfordshire. And simultaneously, his mentality was shaped for reading Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. Orwell moved to Burma in 1922, where he served as an assistant superintendent of police for five years. And in 1922, uh, and before he resigned because of his growing dislike for British imperialism. Okay, so uh, Orwell joined the army, but he left. And in 1920, in 1928, Orwell moved to Paris and began a series of law paying jobs. In 1928, he moved to Paris and began to and that uh, several experience of doing several kinds of law paying jobs gave him, gave, gave George Orwell an experience of writing uh, uh, another uh, novel, which he will uh, under, uh, see uh, next time. In 1929, he moved to London again, living in living in what he termed fairly severe poverty. And this experience provided the matter, material for his first novel, Down and Out in Paris and London, and which he placed his with a publishers in 1903. So uh, after, uh, in, uh, when, whenever George Orwell went to Paris, he had starting, he, has, he had started working in several law paid jobs in Paris and London, and that gave him the information to write the uh, write the uh, his first novel down and out in Paris and London, and that was published with the publisher in 1933. Orwell was teaching in a small private school in Middlesex. After that, and he came down to his first bout of pneumonia. As you know, that they are in interfering country. People suffer, for, uh, people suffer from uh, pneumonia and also uh, for the cause of the tuberculosis. So George Orwell had, been, uh, had also suffered from pneumonia for the cause of his tuberculosis. And for this reason, he uh, went to hospital for treatment in 1938, 1947, and 1950. Uh, this is the, this is uh, his physical condition was not good. In 1933, Orwell gave up teaching and he spent almost a year in South Old writing his next book, Burmese Age. So uh, at the time of, uh, uh, after uh, uh, quitting from his, his school teaching job, he wrote another uh, next, uh, he started working for another book that is the Parvis Days. And during this time, he worked a part time in a bookshop where he made his future wife, Alien O. Slognesi. Slog, Slognesi. Can you see the screen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. And yes, um, we can see. <laughs> yeah. uh, and uh, can you hear me clearly? Yes sir. yes, sir. We can hear you very clearly. Okay. Yes, sir. You, Isha, your name is Isha. We can Why? read also, sir. Eh? Sir. And, and someone marked uh, doodles in in the in the picture. Uh, no. Sir, Isha, brother, okay, Habibul Haq, da ke aro, or Abu da ke Isha. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So. Uh, if you can, if you do not hear me clearly, or if you have any problem, uh, Abir, Abir. So, sorry, sir. Accidentally, our <laughs> clear, <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, and sometimes uh, 
if you do not say yes or no, I will be isolated. <laughs> that means I am speaking with myself only. Okay, anyway. So this is, we, we had been uh, reading the biography of George Orwell. So uh, in 1933, Orwell gave up teaching and he started writing uh, preparation for his next book that is Barney's Days. And during this time, he worked a part-time job in a bookshop where he met his future wife. And the name of his uh, wife is Alien O. Slug Nessie. Okay. You might uh, pronounce it in your own way. He and Alien, Alien were married in 1936. And shortly before he moved to Spain to write newspaper article about the Spanish civil war. Okay. And um, in Spain, Orwell found what he had been searching for, a true socialist state. He joined the struggle against the fascist party, but had to flee when he group, when the group with which he was associated and was falsely accused of secretly helping the fascist. So he went to Spain and whenever Orwell went to Spain, he got the real a socialist state and he was happy because from the within Orwell loved socialist government and though um, he was uh, a socialist in mind he would not love the fascist government however his family and his uh, the other men who had been living all in the fascist government so when he moved to uh, Spain he was happy however he was also uh, claimed against uh, that uh, the group which he was associated with falsely accused of secretly helping the fascists. Okay, and then in 19, uh, 1939, Orwell had returned to England, and in 1941, he took a position with the British Broadcasting Corporation (BBC) as the person in charge of broadcasting to India and Southeast Asia. So this is his job. Uh, that means he started working in the BBC, uh, broadcaster, news presenter or broadcaster. Orwell disliked this job immensely, being as he was in charge of uh, disseminating propaganda to the British colonies. Earlier in the stage, in the first or second uh, slide, we have informed that uh, Blair, uh, Orwell left a job of school teaching only for that or uh, left the job of police only because that means uh, Orwell didn't like the British imperialism and again here when he started working in the British Broadcasting Corporation as a new broadcaster he was not happy because uh, uh, BBC or the British uh, Broadcasting uh, channel or uh, BBC had been uh, supplying or the delivering the propaganda to these British colonies. Okay. And for this reason, he was unhappy. And George Orwell, Orwell was unhappy at the time of working in BBC. An act that went against both his nature and his political philosophy. And so uh, we, um, you understand, or we, we may uh, understand that for the cause of his hatred against the British imperialistic philosophy, Orwell didn't like, love working in uh, BBC and also working in Polish department. And in 1943, Orwell took a job more to his liking as the literary editor of the Tribune. And shortly after, Orwell and Alien adopted a son in 1944. Uh, uh, and Orwell became a war correspondent for the observer in Paris and Cologne, Germany. And tragically, Alien died in the beginning of the year and just before the publication of one of his most important volumes, novels, Animal Farm. Okay, that you are doing. So uh, uh, I see some marks in my slide. Some most probably any, any uh, I don't know what why it is happening. Okay. Anyway, so in 1944, Orwell 
uh, became the correspondent of observer and he started working in Paris and Germany. And at the time, his wife died. And at the uh, just um, one of his uh, before the publication of Animal Farm, what we will uh, read in uh, the next two or three classes. So Oriel continued his writing and completed the revision in 1984. It was published early the next year with great success. Everybody can see the slide. Yes, sir. 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 I see red marks in my slide. I also see. So reconnect editing option. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, but I see red marks in my slide. Someone. Sorry. Sir, I don't know. Sir, I don't know. Okay. Well, uh, first time, uh, most probably, someone is doing something. But, uh, but who is doing? Don't try to experiment uh, uh, something new. What you don't know? If you don't know the uh, function of uh, Zoom, then uh, the total class might get in jeopardy. Okay. So what? Uh, who? Okay. <laughs> Either it may be he or she. I don't know. Okay. But uh, don't try to experiment something in a real class. Okay. Whenever you will be um, doing some other class or video chat with somebody else with your uh, friend, then you can experiment this way. So this is. The uh, Orwell's biography, and uh, that means at the time of working in Germany, he took preparation of writing George Orwell and uh, uh, Animal Farm, and he wrote this. Okay, in Orwell's writing, he shot truth. So, what is the theme of what is the theme of uh, Orwell's writing? So, apparently, searching truth. Uh, yeah searching truth. She, through the writing, Orwell always tried to search for the truth. And even his fiction has elements of the world around him and of the words and struggle that he witnessed of the terrible, uh, terrible nature of the politics and the terrible toll that totalitarianism takes of the human history. And from the time he began to write at the age of 24, Orwell longed to capture the struggle of real people. Still, someone is joining. Okay. Okay. Uh, for the time he began to write at the age of 24, Orwell longed to capture the struggle of the real people to live among the less more fortunate and to tell their stories. And of his own writing, Orwell has said that he writes because there is some kind of lie that he has to expose. Huh? Sorry. Just. Sorry. Hello, Madi. You mean key word? I just heard it. Yarak bar bolba. Sorry. Sorry. Guys, please. This video is recorded. Okay. And uh, of his own writing, Orwell has said that he writes because there is some kind of lie and that he has to expose and some fact to, who, to which he wants to draw attention. And Orwell certainly doesn't, does this in 1984, a novel fought with political purpose, meaning and warning. 
And in summer of 1911, Eric entered into the defining phase of his childhood when he was admitted to send. So uh, we will not read in details, most probably. Uh, that is uh, in. And during the early and the mid 19th, uh, uh, 1930s, Orwell developed a teaching while trying to sustain himself as a writer. His novels, Burmese Days, 1934, A Clergyman's Daughter in 1935, and Keep the Epidista Flying, 1936, all made with decent reviews but the mod, uh, 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 and modest sales. In 1936, Orwell employed the same method he had used to write down and out and visited Wagon, a mining town in northern England to see how the miners and their families lived. And the result was the road to Wagon Fire that was uh, written in, uh, in 1937, a non-fictional account of the miners' struggle that was chosen by the left book club and sold over 44,000 copies. Orwell was now regarded as an important political writer, much more so than as a novelist. And this same year also saw Orwell become uh, a husband. And on June 9, uh, 9 1936, he married Alien uh, that we have learned earlier. So, uh, In 1938, he wrote Homes to Catalonia. Another nonfiction work describes Orwell's time on the front and his disillusionment with the very revolution he thought would win freedom for Spain. And the idea of the revolution betraying its supposed aim is a cheap issue of animal farm. So this was the issue on, uh, and he also had the relationship with some other. After returning from France, Orwell Lang began traveling him again. So as we have told it earlier, that means Orwell had been suffering from tuberculosis and pneumonia for the cause of the reason. And for this reason, he went to hospital several times. Anyway, so in 1941, he wrote another, The Lion and the Unicorn. These are the, in 1943, Orwell finished writing the book that uh, now he can erase it. The person who has marked the person, he can now erase it. So he has learned how to erase it. <laughs> but don't try to do this. Okay. The person, the student who is doing this as kind of marks, okay, don't try to do any in, in this real class. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, uh, the story uh, of Orwell's biography. Um, Animal Farm was finally published on August 17, 1945, and sold more than mm, more than two lakh fifty thousand copies and received tremendously. Uh, flattering reviews. However, with his great success came sorrow when Alien died during a hetero, uh, hysterectomy in this uh, this same year. Okay. So uh, in the same year, that means before uh, the publication of Animal Farm, George Orwell's wife died. So uh, as in brief, we can say that George Orwell was born in uh, India and his father had been working uh, under the British uh, government in India. And after uh, his mother 
was also in India at the time of George Orwell's birth. But after the birth of George Orwell, thank you. That means he is successful in his experience. <laughs> now, can you see the red marks? No, I can't see no, the red no, marks. No, no, sir, it's not. Okay. So, um, okay. so um, uh, in brief, we can say that George Orwell, a British writer, and George Orwell is the nickname of his real name. Real name means Eric Arthur Blair. And he was born to a British official in India. And after the birth of George Orwell, Orwell's mother returned England. And whenever George Orwell returned England, then, uh, uh, then his boyhood, uh, George Orwell passed visiting the countryside and uh, and simultaneously, uh, George Orwell's reading of Sir uh, Jonathan Swift's The Gulliver's Travel shaped his writing mentality that he will be writing the basis on the uh, satire, political satire, or the other people. And another thing is that that means George, uh, uh, George Orwell didn't love the uh, imperial British government. Uh, all over the world at the time. And for this reason, he started working at the police department and he left the job. And also he joined in the BBC at the British uh, uh, broadcaster. However, he also was not happy to work in, uh, uh, working in the BBC for the same reason, that means George Orwell was not happy from uh, uh, for his uh, job of expreading or delivering British colonial propaganda all over the world. And uh, the Animal Fund, that was also a political satire, and that was uh, written in 1945. And before the uh, publishing of the Animal Fund, Orwell's wife died. Okay? And If uh, uh, everyone, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Clear. Uh, so, so, someone is uh, someone is uh, going to the yes, waiting sir. room and coming. Waiting room and coming. It doesn't mean that means if we uh, leave the meeting, okay, whenever you will come, I will get a notification. And in online class, it is very easy. And you can you can hear me, or you can listen me, or you can mute your video. You can go somewhere else. Okay, but uh, but whenever you will come, leave, and go, I will understand, and there will be a not notification. Just like the real class, uh, whenever anybody wants to leave the class, he can leave. Everybody can see. Here, everybody will not see, but only the host. That means uh, the teacher can teacher. understand that you are. Uh, uh, that means uh, you, you have left the room and also you have returned the room. So anyway, uh, uh, this is in short the biography of George Orion. Not in short, nearly. We have spent uh, many time. Uh, now, do you have any question regarding the biography or, or, or this uh, or these things? Okay. If you no, sir. Have, no, sir. No, sir. no, no, sir. Okay. Raised hand. Uh, yeah, who raised hand? You, you can ask your question. Uh, why you you haven't written your name? So your phone phone name is shown. Raised hand. Yeah. Okay, you can. Jubai, do you have any questions? No, sir. No, sir. Okay. I love to see your smiling face in such a lockdown situation. Okay, after a long time. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, Thank yeah. You, sir. Any anybody? Um... Jor kore hashi sir. Hashi na ashlo onke hash onke hashi. No, actually, okay. Uh, Isha Jahan, I can see Isha Jahan. Isha Jahan, can you hear me? Mute kora me sir. I mute kore gotha all. Hello, sir. Hi, hello. Okay. 
I am. बोलते हैं ना कि वह बयान म्यूट कर रहा है। Okay, gradually he will. Uh, Sriti is unmute. Sriti, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I okay, can. what is your uh, what is your how do you feel attending online classes? Sir, this is the first time. Sir. This is the second time. time you at attend you attended another class. That means this is the second time. No, no, no. <laughs> she didn't, sir. She didn't. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Okay. So thank you. Babu, take one more question. Babu, hey. Babu, take one more. Babu. Hey. Everyone, everyone. Hey, come on. Honey, this is a formal class, honey. Hey, hey. everyone, everyone. Honey, please take a break. Shagun. Hey, silence. Stick to the class. Everyone, every uh, you, 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 most probably you know that in online classes everything is recorded. Eh? Yes, sir. <laughs> Automatically, whenever I start the class, it recorded. Okay, and for a world that is depressing time is that she, I mean, class or maja maja maja, just like to maja hole, bhalo. No, then you can, you can, you can, you can do something else. Okay, but. Uh, But uh, uh, edge, uh, uh, you will not uh, tell something um, uh, to make someone unhappy. You will try to tell something to make our, uh, someone happy or laugh. Yes. Okay. Anyway, Asadul Islam, how are you? Uh, Sriti, Sriti, you might unmute your speaker, please. Sir, I'm not unmute. Can I ask, sir? Okay. Sir, okay. Sir, Jahan unmute. Can I ask? Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, okay, good. And um, Asadul Islam, Mahadi Hasan. Yes, sir, Mahadi Hasan. Okay, Mahadi Hasan. Sir, how much for the guest? No, no, I see, I am here. Sir, Mahadi Hasan, bull bully. Oh, bull bull, sir. Oh, acha. <laughs> how many Mahadi Hasan in your batch? We have so many Mahadis. Three, three Mahadis. Three Mahadis are there in our classes. Okay, sir, and three Mahadis. Also, also two Jubair in it. Three Jubair. 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 Three Uh, for allowing the participant okay yes. and uh, the participant uh, is now 37 i see okay uh, and uh, in the first part of this class we have discussed a little bit about the biography of uh, george orwell if you have any question okay regarding the class regarding the problem in the facebook group you can comment you can question me okay or you can email me okay any kind of your problem technology problem suppose you might uh, you might stay long away from dhaka you can't attend the class it's no problem okay just the online classes the jagannath university authority has started to take online classes just to keep you in touch okay so and for this reason if yes. you have any problem if you can understand me if you can understand my uh, if you can uh, any other issues or challenges or problems please feel free you can email me or you can comment on the facebook group so that i can see and i can reply to you okay and now we can let's move on to the uh, another um, slide okay and uh, now we can i can see uh, see everyone okay uh, rukia islam i can see harun rashid is not uh, uh, mute okay how are you harun rashid okay there is a system of thumb up okay okay uh, now if you do not have any uh, uh, question just we can go to other part of this class that means this is the um, a short summary of the novella it is also a short novel we will read that okay and uh, I have a question. Uh, yes. Uh, he was born in India. Yes, born born in India. 